I'm Brian Sheets with American Rifleman Magazine, and this week we've got a mouse gun, a pocket pistol. This is the Remington RM380, which you may recognize if you're a fan of mouse guns from uh, a company called Roarball. Um, Remington purchased that company and purchased the, uh, the design of this pistol, but then being Remington, it decided to take a look at some of the features of the pistol and uh, improve them and, and add some of its own. So the RM380 is a hammer-fired, uh, locked breech, uh, 380 ACP pocket pistol. It takes six rounds in the magazine. I've got one magazine here in the gun that is the conventional type, and then here's one that has an additional pinky extension so you can get a little bit more purchase on the front strap of the gun. Uh, it has machined-in aluminum uh, sights integral with the slide, and like I said, it's hammer-fired, so you know, we've got a clear gun here, but if I, if I pull the trigger back, you can see the hammer come back. The travel on the trigger is quite long, but once it releases, uh, the, the, the pull weight required to actually uh, pull it all the way through isn't bad. Now, one of the upgrades that I mentioned on the RM380 is that it has a magazine release in sort of the more conventional location up here behind the back of the trigger guard. What's more, Remington figured out a way to make it bilateral. So it presses in from either side, and of course they accomplished that with a cut in the front of the magazine, and that's the tip-off on guns with that feature. That's different than the Roar Ball, the original design, which had a heel-type European release. So that's one upgrade. The other upgrade that's included on this gun that you don't see sometimes in what I call slick slide pocket pistols, you know, pocket pistols where the sides of the gun are minimized in order to make it as snag free as possible on the draw is this slide lock here. Uh, Remington decided to incorporate one of these and of course when the slide is pushed to the rear simply uh, the, the magazine follower uh, activates it on the last round so there's last round hole open or it can be activated manually and of course it can be depressed manually to let the slide go forward. So with the RM380, you've got a very small, very uh, dehorned, very lightweight, but all metal gun, because if I didn't mention it, the frame on this gun is aluminum. So uh, unlike a lot of the modern uh, crop of small pistols today, the RM380 is a locked breech tilt barrel gun. So if you notice, of course, the muzzle here is belled, and that's to interference fit with the front of the slide. But when the slide is run forward, you can see that last little bit just brings the, the hood of the barrel up into engagement with the uh, ejection port. The other thing is there is a, a port there on the barrel itself to see if there is a chambered round. So with the RM380, Remington has produced a very compact, relatively lightweight, all metal, very dehorned pistol. And of course, because it's locked breech, you tend to get a little bit less uh, sharp recoil out of it than you do with blowback 380s. All in all, the, the RM380 is a, an improvement and it's, best of all, about half the price that the Roar Ball sold for. So for more on Remingtons, go to remington.com. For more Guns of the Week, visit AmericanRifleman.org.